Hola amigos, welcome to the Hawford Mill here in Westport, Pennsylvania. A mill that has was a mill for over a hundred years and now is an eatery and many more things. Discover their story with me. <laughs> The Hufford Mill it was named after William Hufford and we wanted this building to be something familiar. It's kind of like an old sweater for people. The Hufford Mill currently operates as a kind of entertainment complex. So we have food, drink, and some fun things to do and even a place to stay after you do all of those things. Today we have a restaurant called The Gorge Eatery, and we partner up with Radical Wine for our bar. We have a private event space, which we also cater. We have a coffee shop, we have axe throwing, and then there's also a hostel kind of Airbnb. And we wanted to bring something to the area that wasn't already here. The coffee house has all kinds of coffees and muffins and oatmeal squares made in house, and it's open every day. The restaurant, The Gorge, is open from Thursday to Sunday and the food has a unique concept if you want to take a culinary journey with American, French, Canadian recipes that are created from the heart between Kate and her mother, Lucy. My mom is definitely my biggest supporter. She makes sure that everything happens behind the scenes. I definitely couldn't do it without her. The restaurant, we do brunch, we do lunch, and we do dinner, and we kind of do a variety of things that are not on any other menu around here. We don't do burgers, we don't do wings. Kate has also brought to her menu flavors from her French Canadian upbringing. Probably the most obvious Canadian thing is on our menu is the poutine. We use fresh cut fries, it's a homemade gravy. That's something from my childhood, definitely from my heritage. Definitely signature to Montreal is smoked meat, smoked brisket. So we have a Montrealer sandwich, which is very similar to a Reuben. Um, but that is so traditionally Montreal, and I definitely had to bring that with me. Kate has also included tacos that she brought from living in Los Angeles. They don't have your traditional sour cream, red salsa on them, uh, but they're very light, which is great because we're right on the DNL trail. People are always moving, and sometimes they just want a light snack. The meal was only recently turned into a restaurant. Its walls carry a lot of history and different uses. This building was a variety of things. It was a lumber mill, it was a general store, it was a silk mill where they were making silk stockings and they were also making textiles for department stores. We do feature some of the legs around, around the mill. We had an artist paint them. We have women that come in here that are in their 90s that worked in this mill. And it's truly special to see them enjoy the space in a way that they never saw it before. Not everything was a smooth path for Kate and her mother. The pandemic happened just after they opened and they had to reinvent themselves to pay their bills. We opened our doors February 5th, 2020 and six weeks later we were shut down due to the pandemic. We tried to do takeout but since we were so new it just didn't work for us. So we took a break for about a week and we decided to reinvent ourselves and do no contact groceries where we added a whole part to our website. So it was a very seamless shopping experience where people didn't really know what was going on. They weren't looking to go to the grocery stores and we had people driving from 45 minutes away because they enjoyed the experience with us. You can have a unique experience at the mill. You're never gonna find another building built like this. See the original floors, see the original brick and get a little bit of entertainment while you're at it. I hope you enjoyed our story, the past and the present of the Hufford Mill. And now I'm going to practice my acts. Christina Luna for Pocono Television Network. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.